I feel like there's there's two different types of people. There are people who they just kind of do and they figure it out as they go. And then there are the people who have to have all of the pieces before they start. Can you give some tips and, and kind of understanding to people listening how you build an audience and what it takes? To boil it down to something stupid simple, it's basically value. Um, the more value you offer, uh, the more potential you have to grow an audience. But there's different types of value. There is the educational value, right? And then there's the entertainment value, there's the relational value, there's the what you represent value, there's inspiration. And I think when you talk about creators online, whether it be podcasting or whether it be YouTube, um, there are certain thresholds of talent and depending on where you are on that value scale will kind of ultimately dictate where you fall in those thresholds and just for you know uh all intents and purposes we'll just say there are three thresholds right now right mm -hmm. threshold one We'll take my niche, for example, or even yours to a certain extent. Um, threshold one is information, mm -hmm. right? If you've got the information, awesome. You pass the first threshold. Uh, you may That may award you like, I don't know, 3,000 subscribers on YouTube or mm -hmm. three or four. Uh, the podcasting world is a little different, but that's the first threshold. But in order to get to the next threshold, you got to have more than just information because people in this day and age can get that information anywhere, really. Right. So many people doing the same thing. So the next threshold becomes execution. Okay, you can give me information, but how are your videos edited? How are they lit? What do they look like? How do you sound? Is the sound sound horrible? Do you sound like, you know, you're in a, the bottom of a submarine? Did you shoot it on a potato? You know, like, so that's like another threshold of value, right? So now you're like, okay, I got the information. But I also got the execution. Mm -hmm. Like things look right, they sound professional. Okay, boom, you cross another threshold of value. So maybe that gets you to the 10,000 mark or something. And then there's yet another threshold of personality and relatability. Um, are you somebody that people could see themselves getting a beer with? Or do you approach it with the classical hostmanship of, I'm gonna keep my hands in this little box right here and I'm gonna talk like this and I'm gonna, and it feels mm -hmm. just like artificial and stale, you know? Mm -hmm. like. If you pierce that second threshold of value of being relatable and authentic as a person and not being afraid to be a person and um, basically just have personality, that's like a third like threshold of value that you cross. So then that may award you like 20, you know, and it just keeps going up and up and up from there. You know, relational value, your ability to market yourself, your ability to think past your nose when making videos. Some people, they have a lot to offer, but they don't study YouTube. Right. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to be good at YouTube if you don't study YouTube? And that's another threshold of value, though. So you can have a lot of other things going for you. But if you don't understand the platform, you don't understand the kind of tropes and things that the community indulges. That's one less thing that you have to arm yourself with. And I, and I find the people that are very successful on this platform, they just have lots of value to offer in different tiers. It's not just my information's the best. No, it's like. The information, the personality, it's like the, the whole package.